Hello everybody, Phenomenal Sir here, back with another episode of The First 15, the series where I play the first 15 minutes of newer underexposed indie games and then share my thoughts and feelings about them. So, today we have up Lost, which is a 2D pixel art adventure platformer which was created as a final project for a, it says CS50 course, I'm assuming that's some sort of university course. So let's see what Lost has to offer, shall we? I have 15 minutes on the clock, and actually, you know what, we're going to do how to play first. Well, I like the sound effects. All right, so, ooh, there's actually <laughs> slide if run sprint, up, pull up left right move shift holy crap I'm actually glad I checked this because there's a lot more here than I thought it was gonna be up space so space is jump left control is left shift is run who let's just hope that let's hope that WASD works F is use bow R is fireball Q is switch sword combat if combat punch if sword small attack. Okay, go. So he's got Q, A, and D. Okay. We're going to try. All right. So anyway, 15. I'm glad I checked that. I was like, you know what? There's no controls on the main page. Let me check this real quick. Anyway, uh, 15 minutes starts now. Where am I? How did I get here? I need to find a way out from this place. Maybe I can find something useful in this world. Hope it is safe. If I came here through the portal, I must find another one which will take me home. Wow. I can jump like a mofo. Holy crap. Oh, well, there goes all my mana. All right. Whoa, too fast. I must be careful. Ooh. Nice. That potion restores my health. Okay, so now I can run and slide. Oh, and then I just... Okay. Armor? I am taking that. Gonna be safe now. Do a... Oh, at last. I'm so hungry. Ouch, that hurts. Well, I tried to do a double jump up there, but it didn't let me, and now I've... So you can't... Okay. So apparently you can't do a double jump while you... If you sprint, which seems a little silly to me. Do I not have... Am I out of arrows? Did I not have... Oh, I had a limited number of arrows, apparently. Cool. Oh, well. Caught it. Ew, this food has gone bad. Oh, good. I, I really like it when a game poisons you in the intro. You died. Okay. Ouch, these guys can be dangerous. Well, I guess I'm just gonna not. Okay. Oh, wait. and you don't keep. Okay. 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 So when you die, you get a little bit of mana armor back, but you don't get any arrows back, and you don't actually get enough mana to shoot another fireball, meaning it's essentially pointless that you that you get that. So. 
So at this point, I'm thinking I'm pretty much boned, but we'll... So now I can do a sprinting double jump, so why couldn't I do it before? Did they just not want me to do it in that one spot? Yeah, let's see. Oh. Yeah, so it won't let me... So I can double jump there. I can double jump here. I can... Okay. I can't double jump. Okay. Oh wait, this is poison. That shouldn't be. Can't double jump. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna try one more time. It's only been four minutes. Yeah, so now I've got 60 mana, 60 armor, 60 agility, 60 strength. I don't know what agility and strength do. Um, okay. beat the first level of this thing, y'all. I'm not even going to worry about that, because that's a trick. Yeah, fucker, I got my arrows now. Yeah, how'd you like it, punk? So I lost agility there? Why did I... I know the description said that there are poison, like danger, dangerous items and things, but for real, um, that's a little silly. If you're asking me. So the fireball and the. The fireball and the. Arrows seem to do the same damage. I feel full of strength. So how's this gonna hurt me? Maybe I can share it with enemies. that extra life? I hope that I will not need this. Yeah. So I'm not sure what strength does either. It seems to be a stat that um, changes or something. I don't know. I'm pretty much just doomed to take damage from this guy. Yeah. Alrighty. Can I go past enemies? Huh. Great. I need to collect more arrows. I, apparently you cannot go past enemies. It was a just a straight up lie. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't let me double jump there. All right, so you know what? I'm done. <laughs> nah, we're not even going to play this for another seven minutes. So this game um, is fundamentally broken, in my opinion. Um, I was willing to forgive the English as a second language description. The control scheme was a little weird to me because you have to move with your arrows and then you've got Q, A, D, R, F, left shift and left control, or how you do your other things, and space bar to jump. 
that's a weird control scheme. But you know what? I was willing to move past that if the controls actually worked. But the the second time I started, you saw where I was just running back and forth through the entrance. The game is not even consistent on if you can go left and right back and forth or if your guy has to slide to a stop and then turn around again. Like some of the times I was sliding and then I had to turn and other times I could turn immediately. There were several times where I would be running and I would jump and it wouldn't let me double jump, but then it would let me double jump, but then it wouldn't. The jumps were floaty. So what I, what that means is you could control your, your jump a little bit, but not completely. But when you jump while moving forward, it's like it throws you forward. So when you're going over those little bits with the the um, the stumps and the spikes between them, I was literally like, okay, I got to be in the exact middle and press forward and jump at the same time and then not touch the keyboard because otherwise I'm going to go too far. Um, you can hang from ledges but you can't drop from the ledges and you can't jump from the ledges. You can only drop away from like, so if you're hanging on the ledge, I tried to press down and it wouldn't let me drop down. But if I press left, it would let me drop away. Um, and it would let me pull up. But then when you pull up, you instantly get shunted into, into an enemy. So for me, the controls fundamentally are broken. They don't work or if they do work, they work inconsistently. And there is nothing worse, in my opinion, than playing a game where you're not sure if the controls just suck or if you're doing a bad job. It should be abundantly clear because even if it's just me doing a bad job, that should be clear to me. But the fact that I can't tell if it's the controls messing up or if I'm just dumb because the control scheme is weird, that's a problem. Um, <clears throat> the game looks decent. I actually picked this one out. One of the reasons I picked it out is because I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty decent looking um, platformer. But that doesn't make up for the fact that you're constantly getting thrown into enemies. The enemies can just blast through your attacks. I don't know what the reason would be for me to switch from sword to, um, to fists. Um, I don't, I, I, it wasn't clear to me and I didn't feel like trying it because I quickly realized that melee is a joke either way. Um, the arrows and the fireballs seem to both use, they seem to both do the same amount of damage. They travel the same way, they, they have the same movement speed. So I'm not sure why I need both. Um, other than the fact that they pull from two different resource pools. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I honestly, I know this is this is going to be bad because both of my games today are going to end up being less than 15 minutes. The other one was for a different reason. Um, this one, there's obviously more content there to explore, but I just don't want to explore it. I just fundamentally feel like this is a broken game. It's a very good looking game, but as soon as I started trying to, as soon as I read the controls, I was a little worried. But then when I actually jumped in and started doing it, it just seemed not to work the way a platformer should work. And it's all well and good to have items that are like poison or that are, that are bad for you in some way. But for you to plant those items and, you know, some of the, some of the icons, I couldn't really tell what they were supposed to be. Um, but for you to have it set up so you jump, grab a ledge, and you pull yourself up and, like, step into the item, and it's, oh, surprise, the item's poisonous, um, just seems a little dickish to me, if I'm being frank. Um, the only other platformer I've ever played which had that kind of mechanic was um, Super Mario Bros. 2 for the original Famicom. So that was Mario Bros. 2 in Japan... Super Mario, the lost levels in the United States. And the reason that game never made it over to the United States until fairly recently is because the, the people who were in charge of Nintendo of America quickly realized that that game was not going to sell to mainstream audiences. It was for 
hardcore players only. And I just don't know that there is a big audience of people that want to play 2D pixel art platformers where they're constantly getting screwed by intentionally placed poisonous items and bad controls. So I may sound like I'm being mean. Um, I feel like I'm being mean, but honestly, this was made for a class, but you're also taking money for it. And, you know, I saw in the comments from the developer like nine, ten days ago, the developer said, well, is anybody running into bugs? Is anybody having any issues with this game? And I didn't read any further than that because if the game's been out for 70 days, you should have play tested it by now. And these are things that you should have picked up on, man. Or, or ma'am, or, you know, whatever pronoun you use. So, for me, it's it's going to have to be a no. Um, and I have a, I'll, I'll be honest, I have a fairly low bar. I feel like if the game, if the game occupies me for the full 15 minutes, then I'm happy. Um, even if it's hard or if it's a little, a little glitchy or whatever, I can work through it. But this game is just fundamentally broken, in my opinion. Um... I would not be accepting money. I need to go. Actually, you know, I'm going to go back and check because I want to see real quick while we're here. Yeah, this is a name your own price game. So this is a game where the developer put it out. They put it out on Windows 32, Windows 64, Linux, and OS X. Yeah, oh, I'm, I've been done. And they are and they are taking money for it. So. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's a lot of cool. There's a lot of cool screenshots here. It looks like a lot of work went into the art. Um, whoever did your art, if it was you, developer, kudos to you. Um, you should continue pursuing that because you made a game that looks fantastic, but this is not a completed progress product, in my opinion, by any stretch of the imagination. So. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to check out all of my other first 15 videos. I promise I am not always this harsh. Um, and be sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for new videos, as well as any videos that I might be uploading from my Twitch, um, my long form plays. So between now and then, um, I hope to see you again soon, or I hope that you see me again soon. And stay healthy, stay safe out there.